back to the Closer Series. I'm Jesse Lubar. You know, we talk a lot about objections here in our sales meetings, how to go about overcoming them, and how to use stories and storytelling in your sales approach. The number one thing to remember is that it all comes down to one initial thing, and that is connecting with people. Because like fingerprints, no two people are identical. And as professional sellers, it's our job to figure out as quickly as we can, what is it that makes this person tick? If you can find some common ground right off the bat, whether that is in relation to our products, something in their industry or in their town, anything you can use to draw them in, then you can check off step one. But now you're making your presentation, you're into it, you're giving them features and you're hitting them with benefits and hopefully you're asking them to do business. And if you've done this long enough, you know that there are occasions when the moon and the stars align and you get a gift, you get a lay down. The timing was right, it was affordable enough, and they had a need, voila, you've got a deal, we've got a new client. But more often it's when you ask to do business that those objections start rolling in. So today I wanted to combine a little bit of storytelling with one of the most common objections the general put off, the not right now excuse that so many prospects use. Now we know that when you get to this point, unless you have a lousy ear, and that, that's its own issue, that there is an interest there. After all, they've invested time with you at this point, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever. But like most of the SMB universe, they're skeptical folks. So here is where a similar situation close can be used. You need to have a few ingredients at the ready to do this right. You gotta have your example client. You need to have an adaptable story framework and you gotta be quick about it because about here is where you're either losing or you're closing. So we can use this example for, uh, let's say heating and air conditioning. Jimmy, I have another client his name is Bill from m and Heating out of Tupelo, Mississippi. And he wanted to wait. He wanted to talk it over with his business coach. But I knew how we could help, so I gave him the little push that he needed. I showed him the opportunity cost that came with waiting. And in his market, there was a competitor, new to the game, came in, had a solid ad budget, but he had a newer website, only a few reviews. But all of a sudden, he had made significant progress on Google with his rank, and he passed our client. Well, we were able to get our guy on board, and before long, we were capitalizing on his Google presence. We were improving his pages with his latest promotions, new photos and videos of his work, adding his listings to the new sites from our network, and we used our QR code system to triple the number of reviews he was getting. So within a couple of months, he was dominating organically. He had over 400 reviews. He had an average uh, star ranking of 4.8, I believe. And his phone traffic and his appointments had both increased. We then even added a Google Ads package to his plan to really help him ramp up ahead of this summer. So I know how Google Business Pro is gonna help you build that foundation and continue to energize your presence. And don't forget, all of our agreements, they run month to month. So in effect, we go to work for you now. If you're not seeing value, you're out. But I'm not gonna let that happen. We're gonna excel for you and help you gain market share and you're gonna thank me and you're gonna refer your friends. So you're here, I'm here, let's save the time lose nothing to that opportunity cost, and get this started for you. It's a one-time setup fee of just $299, and then $399 a month on a month-to-month -month basis. And now you assume the close, you schedule the onboarding meet, but if you have a few of these go-to stories on hand and at the ready, it can be a majorly effective tool that you can use to help you close that next sale. So for OMG, I'm Jesse Lubar, and I wish you another fine day of selling.